power flashes as this thing was moving through. Now we're going to take a look kind of at a breakdown of the radar and of what happened here, and we'll show that track of that storm that the uh, uh, National Weather Service did confirm was the EF0 tornado. Start the clock at 10 o'clock here, and you can see this activity out to the west. Right about 1015, that's when we cut in and talked about how this had become a 70 mile an hour wind producer and it had become a the weather service calls a considerable damage threat. At the same time, that is when some rotation was starting to get indicated here just to the southwest of New Liberty near Wilton along I-80. Now, there was no tornado warning at the time, but as we continue on here, we'll track it up to 1030, 1031 to be exact. You can see that's when that red box pops up there. And at the same time, that is when the tornado initially touched down here at 1031, just to the northeast of Walcott along I-80. This continued on for about uh, 15 minutes or so moved right over top of Mount Joy. Here we are at 1040. It continued its path about a 10 mile path here and ended just east of Mount Joy there and just to the north of I-80. That blue line there is that path that storm moved off. That was the only con confirmed tornado from this system that moved through the area, uh, but a lot of damaging wind reports were uh, reported as well. You could see EF0 tornado again. That was about a 15 minute uh, duration. Almost 10 miles, though. That's a pretty good path, and then uh, 20 yards in uh, in width. So uh, overall, pretty uh, substantial severe weather out.